Hello, people. Welcome back to Follow That. Who's doing well? Now then, mission two, counterintelligence, ULP, the new DLC. Is this one relatively simple, I think, once you get used to the mechanics of what you're supposed to do. So you need to drive up to these two drones, which are shown on the map, and they move very slowly, so they're easy to find. That's not really the challenge here. So once you get within range, you then have the ability for your app to pop up, which it does automatically, and then you just need to stay within the yellow marker until it reaches 100%, and then you are good. And then it's time to go and find the other one. So the nice thing is, from the times that I've done it, the drones don't kind of drive uh, out to sea, <laughs> fly out to sea or anything like that. Okay, here's the second one, and don't do what I did first time around, which was to take an RPG and blow it out of the sky because you fail the mission. <laughs> it was, oh dear, I just can't help myself sometimes. Anyway, so let's get this one up to 100, and then it's all going so well, isn't it? All going very well. So once we've now hacked the two drones, you're then given a location across town to go and here we go to the motel. You may remember that from the contract assassination missions may have been there before. Originally I thought when I first did it, I thought, ah, you know what? That's that might be the guy's van, so I'm gonna block it in, but completely pointless. That actually, no, actually no, it's not the van that you end up in. Okay, spoiler alert. Here we go. So, you just walk straight in, access the laptop, and then, oh no, what's this? Subterfuge. What's going on? Gas starts coming through, and we get into this little trick secret. It was all going so well. Part of the life of being an intelligence agent. Probably happens every day to them. Anyway, let's move on. And then you wake up in the next scene, and in fact, playing a weird, almost like a mobile game, you're in first person view, which is a little bit disorientating if you're not used to that. And so here we have a little game to unlock it. Like I said, this is stuff that I play on my mobile really. It feels very, very kind of retro. So what you need to do is click, so move the indicator and then click on one of the mirrors and then you can rotate it. So you need to be shining the, the laser onto those little blue rectangles. So let's do one here. Okay, so I'll move it around at the moment, so there. Burn that out, and then basically don't burn out the red ones or you fail it. So if you come around to avoid that red one, and then disrupt, and then move the laser onto here, click off it, and then we'll click onto the next one. Right, there we go, click. So select, move that round, get that one, and then we've got three to go, and we'll get this one here, load that one up, okay, we're going to need to use that mirror, shine it down onto the one below, and then from that I can get these two, and then I am done, okay, you see you get that little red marker if you accidentally run it over one of the red ones. But anyway, you have to leave it for a few seconds till it's done. All right. You get a few minutes to do it. It's not that hard once you've got used to the mechanic. And then we've got, again, slightly disorientated, still in first person. We've got to deliver the van. But oh no, I'm clicking on it. I can't get out of first person. So let's get in and give it a try. Thankfully, once you're in the van, you can change the view to get out of first person. Although it's quite cool. It's quite nicely disorientating in that view. And then it's just a case of getting the van which you see the van's health bottom right and the van's pretty robust but if you're <laughs> I was just about to say you can take care of the van it just launches it um, and then as usual stick to I've done it again if you're getting into trouble stick to the railway lines where usually the cops won't follow you so you'll be fine and then once you get out, get nearer to the marker, you have to lose the cops as you just go off-road. Even though you've got three stars, there's no helis, which you normally have. And then we are off to the marker to complete a, I think, relatively easy mission. Just learning how to, how to do it and what, what it's actually after. Anyway, there we go. And as usual, don't kill the agents or you fail the mission. <laughs> 
which I've learned to my cost of doing all that driving then to go back and do it again. Anyway, there you go. I hope that helped you out. Take care. Speak to you soon.